welcome to The Update. I'm Michelle Stevenson. The Reserve Bank Governor admits it will be a bumpy road ahead before inflation is brought under control. Michelle Bullock has made the comments after the RBA opted to leave the official cash rate on hold at 4.35%. Governor Bullock admits the board did look at the option of raising interest rates this month. On balance, the board felt that at the moment staying where they are was appropriate. We think uh, that policy is currently restrictive. That doesn't rule out that we might have to raise rates, but it doesn't mean we will have to raise rates. So there was a discussion about it, but the board decided on balance to stay where it was. But Shadow Finance Minister Jane Hume says people are really struggling. Today's news is not good news for ordinary Australians. They're feeling the pinch in their pockets. They're feeling poorer, and there's a good reason for that. It's because they are poorer. They're poorer than they were two years ago. They're looking to their government for answers, and they're finding none. Israel says it's taking control of the Palestinian side of the Rafa crossing in Gaza after advancing during the night. An IDF spokesperson says soldiers were now on the ground, backed up by tank forces, adding that they have new information that Hamas militants have been operating from the crossing area. They would not be drawn on whether the ground activity would be expanded to other areas of Rafa. The federal government is launching a diplomatic press in the wake of the dangerous encounter with the Chinese military. Defence officials are raising concerns with their Chinese counterparts after a fighter jet dropped flares in front of an Australian helicopter. The Prime Minister has condemned the incident as unsafe and unprofessional. The Victorian government has handed down its state budget. It plans to build the Melbourne Airport rail link being pushed back four years, while infrastructure spending will also slow. But Victoria's record debt will continue to climb. And a major inquiry into the supermarket sector is recommending beefed-up laws making price gouging illegal. The parliamentary probe is also calling for a new government agency to monitor the grocery giants. Sport and Entertainment are next. To sport and the Australian men's cricket team is in Brisbane preparing for the T20 World Cup in the Caribbean and US. And at the NBA playoffs, defending champions Denver are facing early elimination. They're 2-0 down in their series with Minnesota after the Timberwolves scored a crushing 106-80 win. In entertainment news now, and Nicole Kidman, Kylie Minogue and Naomi Watts have all led the Aussie stars at the fashion's biggest night of nights. Fellow Aussie Chris Hemsworth also made his Met Gala debut, while Rihanna ended up missing this year's event despite teasing her outfit, the star getting pretty sick with the flu last minute. While Taylor Swift also seems to have skipped the night, instead prepping for the European leg of her era's tour. Sabrina Carpenter and Barry Keoghan, though, made their red carpet debut as a couple, the pair arriving at the fashion event together. That's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team. We'll have another episode of The Update for you tomorrow. I'm Michelle Stevenson.